Alright y'all, so right now I have the uh, SkyRC Wi-Fi modular and I have it hooked up to the uh, Toro Beast and uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can make it do what it do on the uh, smartphone. So, plug it in and I have hit the on switch and as you see the uh, power light is on. But now I have to wait for the uh, Wi-Fi to turn on too. Now the Wi-Fi is blinking, so it's searching for a Wi-Fi signal. Okay, now it's a solid green light for the Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go over to my phone and I'm going to go to the uh, SkyRC link. And it says, no ESC found. So I'm gonna go see if I can I have my GoPro here and no sky or ceiling. says data error so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see what happens when I put read ESC uh, okay so before I started making this video I actually saved the preset as beastie so I guess it does connect and then it did save the preset but let's see. I'm gonna turn the uh, voltage cutoff off and hit apply. And it says alert operation failed. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply again and it's, again it says operation failed so I'm not sure what the problem is yes he stopped stop beeping <laughs> but um hmm so the lights are still green and uh, the preset speed. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and create another let me see oops BDD and hit apply see what happens it says operation failed so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of the app now I'm gonna go back to the app says BCDD but the thing is is that I turned off the voltage cutoff and uh, it was on auto so I unchecked it and then I changed the preset name but now the uh, auto is checked again I'm gonna click ESC read and now we're beeping again <laughs> And I went to upgrade, and under the upgrade information, it uh, has nothing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change the motor direction put it into reverse. Hit apply. And 
and it says alert operation failed. So I'm gonna click uh, read uh, ESC read and it still says no ESC found. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out the app completely. And click restore on the actual modular. Hold it down. All the lights went off. Power came back on. Now I have a solid on the Wi-Fi and solid on the power. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the link. And now it says no ESC found. So all right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video, pull out my uh, remote, and then I'm gonna turn on the RC and uh, make sure that the wheels are spinning in the right direction. And then I'm gonna hook this back up, or I should just keep it on. I'm not sure if I could change it while it's in running mode. It's hooked up to a receiver. And I'm gonna go ahead and reverse the motor direction just to see as a test if this is actually connected and working properly. Right back. So for the better part of an hour, I was trying to figure out if uh, this Wi-Fi modular was actually working with the Arturo Beast. And what I found out was that once I plugged it up with the uh, program box, I realized that the uh, preset name, it wasn't even what I put when I used the Wi-Fi modular and everything was like the uh was it the uh the, the voltage cutoff was set back to 21 volts so like when i tried to hook up my transmitter to test the uh, motor direction to see if it would work with the wi-fi module or not it wouldn't work because i was using this four cell battery and since that i had hooked it up to the uh, wi-fi modular for some reason it resetted it back to 21 volts which is like default well, no, actually default is like all the way up to like 33, I think it was. But basically, the voltage was so high at the cutoff to where my 4S LiPo wouldn't even function. So I thought I had to calibrate, recalibrate, recalibrate the ESC, which that wasn't the case. It was just the voltage cutoff. So that's when I hooked up the program box and realized that it was, you know, reset up to like 21 volts. So um, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using the uh, program box to uh, program your uh, Toro Beast ESC because uh, I was having so many problems hooking this up and uh, it just wasn't right. But it did go good when I had the uh, Toro TS-150 and uh, sadly I blew both of those ESCs. So, <laughs> you know, but um, anyways. So yeah, I would highly recommend getting the program box if you are going to reprogram your Turbo Beast ESC. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching.